about the lighting. I am in my Jeep. It is 11.55. Yeah, I'm at McDonald's, but I wanted to film a video, and it's my first story time in my Jeep, but since it is uh, Crohn's and Colitis Awareness Week, which is December 1st through the 7th, I'm a colitis warrior, and I still have Crohn's, so I was lucky to know lucky enough to have both, you know, lucky me, but this is like just a huge warning first off. Like if you're squeamish, I don't recommend like you watch towards the end of this because I have pictures. I don't have a stoma any longer, but when I had my ostomy, obviously I had a stoma and it was a very, it was the second time I had it, which was a year ago and there's like cars like a car just like pulled over here and it's like really awkward but I don't even care anymore anyways uh, it was around last year when I had it taken down but right before that those of you stoma warriors you know their biggest fear is clipping their stoma in their two-piece bags luckily to all the people that are like <laughs> you have you don't feel that like you I don't have the same nerve nerve endings in your inner organs like you do you know on your skin or like you know viewable not inside your body but anyways I was just wondering like my bag would move whenever it would get full it would pull it would pull my stoma like out of my body and it would hurt so bad and I just didn't understand it so later on that night like I kind of got tired of the pain like it was starting to really really hurt and I removed my bag and it was the time that I wasn't just changing my bag I was changing both pieces even the wafer on it that hooked to my body and it like still like ugh, it gets me even talking about it I was pulling my bag off and my stoma was still stuck in the bag and it was pulling with it ugh, oh my god it hurt so bad so I had to unclip the bag and then pop it off and let my stoma out <sighs> I have pictures of that now this isn't like a quick or a long story time the guy besides me beside me is like finally deciding to leave thanks dude okay anyways back at it he's just gonna be like why is this woman talking to a camera I don't even care anymore anyways I have pictures of it <laughs> and they're very very <clears throat> graphic and it's a stoma. So there's obviously gonna be like bow on it. So be aware of that too. But I freaked out. I called my mom, I sent my mom pictures because you'll be able to see it. There was like the piece of skin from my stoma, which is your bow to the people that don't know. And it was just like, it literally looked like a piece of tissue coming out just because there was like no blood flow to that part and it for a little bit it kind of like turned a little bit greener but I think that was because it was inside of my bag and obviously you know your bowel like whenever you have an ostomy it's liquid and it goes to pretty much whatever color food that you eat that's what color your bag is gonna be like I love big red and my mom would freak out because she would think that it was blood, like blood in my soul. But I was like, no, mom, I'm just drinking Big Red, so it's all good. But anyways, um, I had called mom and, well, I didn't call her. She was in the bedroom. I went and got her. Well, we waited till the next day or so and we talked to the doctor. And she was like, is it hurting anymore? And by then... 
it wasn't too bad. Like, I mean, it was kind of sore, but it felt better since the bag wasn't clipped on it and it wasn't pulling from my body. But she was like, I think it's okay. It's been done before. I was like, at least I'm not alone. <laughs> and I wasn't the first one to do something dumb like this. But she just said if it gets infected or it starts getting any worse, then call me and go to the ER. But luckily, I was all good. But I'm sorry, like that was a short story time. But I wanted to do something kind of quick for, you know, Awareness Month. And I will be recording a video and I think I'm going to do my struggle with gaining weight because I try to gain weight. Like, I'm sure other um, Crohn's and UC patients understand, like, just how difficult it is to gain weight when everything you're eating is just coming back out. But that will be my next video. And I have pictures all the way up from 09 to now. But I think that's pretty much it. And I will insert the picture of it. And like I said, Anyways, I live in a country town, so we have big old jacked up trucks with like dual exhaust and stuff, which I love it, but I'm just saying like I was trying to record a video. If you want any more Jeep, <laughs> I don't know why I had to be so extra with that, but if you want more Jeep story times, then like this subscribe leave it in the comments if you want to see more and i will have more videos up because this week doesn't end until the 7th so spread awareness and i think that's it thanks guys <laughs>